Greetings, my wonderful friends and prophet. Great. Today's content is heavy and mind blowing. Praise God. We are dealing with prophetic codes. Prophetic codes. Wow, that is great. That is supernatural. Now, there is something you must understand about the prophetic. In the prophetic, there is what is called prophetic codes. Every prophet uses prophetic codes to prophesy. The prophetic codes are the deeper realms of the prophetic. When a prophet operates in this realm, the realm of prophetic codes, he sees into the past, the present, and the future. He can prophesy your age, your date of birth, how many husbands you have married before? How many abortions you have had before? Your village? How much is in your account? And all of that. Because this is the deeper realm of the prophetic. Now, there's something you must understand about the prophetic. The prophetic is strange. The prophetic is mysterious. The prophetic is surrounded with mysteries. The prophetic is deep, highly deep. And that is why you need the help of the Holy Spirit in order to operate in the prophetic codes. Prophetic codes are keys that enables a prophet to function in the prophetic effectively. Now in the scripture, both in the Old and the New Testament, we saw prophets, major prophets, using prophetic codes. Now, before we go deeper into the prophetic codes, there is something you must understand about prophetic codes. There are prophetic codes on plants, numbers, colors, and animals. ETC. So, let's start with the prophetic code on plants. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an ammo tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my world to perform it. Praise God. What God was showing to Jeremiah was a prophetic word that was wrapped up in a prophetic code. We also saw another prophet operating in the prophetic code by name Prophet Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 1 to 6. Zechariah speaking, he says, And the angel appeared unto me and tapped me and said, Wake up, I've got something to show you. And the Bible says, the angel said to him, what did you see? I said, I saw a candlestick of gold and seven lamps thereof, seven pipes on the seven lamps and seven olive trees by it. That's four. Zachariah speaking, he says, and he asked the angel that was showing him this cold. And he said, what are these things? What are the meaning of these things you are showing me? And the angel responded, Don't you know the meaning of these things? And he said, No. Verse 6, he says, The prophetic code you have just seen, this is the interpretation. That not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. For who art thou, O great mountains, before Zerubbabel? So, the seven lambs, the olive trees, were prophetic words, but wrapped up in the prophetic codes. Now, listen carefully. For you to operate in the prophetic codes, you must cooperate with the Holy Ghost. You must rely on the Holy Spirit to show you prophetic codes, whether on animals, whether on plants, whether on colors or on numbers. And when the Holy Ghost revealed this to you, 
He will give you the interpretation of what is meant. Why cooperate with the Holy Spirit? In order to operate in the prophetic code. Hear this. The Holy Spirit is the revealer of secrets. The Holy Spirit is the only personality that knoweth the mind of God at the moment. The Bible speaking, it says, that secret things belong to God, but those that are revealed are for the sons of men. So the question is, who revealed the secret things of God to his children? The Holy Spirit. And that's what Jesus speaking, he said, when the Holy Ghost shall come, he shall reveal things to you, things to come. Praise God. So when the prophet cooperate with the Holy Spirit, walk with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit began to use prophetic codes of colors, numbers, to speak to you concerning God's people. Sometimes you stand before someone or a congregation to minister prophetically. And then you see zero on someone or on someone. Now, is the Holy Ghost giving you a prophetic code on numbers about that individual? Now, number zero means struggle, means nothing, means frustration. Or you see five around this individual and the Holy Ghost will minister to you this person is about to enjoy grace or grace is about to speak for this person and then some you see number seven number seven is rest is perfection is it is finished it is done number eight is new beginning number nine is manifestation or judgment and then sometimes you stand to minister prophetically and then you see rags on someone now that is the spirit of poverty the spirit of lack the spirit of want now there are prophetic codes and colors you stand to minister prophetically before someone that you are seeing red around that person now, red is danger. Pray for this person against danger, against blood, against accident. Or you see black color on this individual. God is saying, pray against the spirit of sorrow. Pray against the spirit of mourning. Pray against the spirit of death. Because black is a satanic color. Or you stand, you see green, green color. On this person or around this person, it simply means God is speaking to you through a prophetic code that I'm going to prosper this person. Sometimes the Spirit of God will show you white on that individual. Talk about purity, consecration. And sometimes the Spirit will show you gold color. Now, gold color means prosperity, means plenty money. Prophetic code of blue is royalty is kingship now pay attention because if you get this you will operate in this realm effectively now for you to operate in the realm of prophetic code effectively you must cooperate with the holy ghost you must yield to the Holy Ghost. You must be sought out to prayer, to fasting, to studying of the world. You must be sought out to the ministry of worship and praise. And so when you yield to the leading of the Spirit through intimacy, the Holy Ghost begins to use prophetic codes on Colors, numbers, animals, plants, even sound to minister to you. And then at the same time, gives you the interpretation of the numbers and the things he's showing you.
and then you prophesy, and people are just screaming and just shouting, wow, wow, Major, go deeper. Praise God. I release you into that realm in Jesus' name.